Hello kids, a very happy morning. Enjoy your day with your family at home. Try to cherish them. We won't get it again. So to begin. My new ruler is bright blue. He measures me and he measures you. Your measures length and width and height. My super ruler is alright. Measurement is fun for me. Just come and try and then you'll see. Find the height or weight or time. My favorite thing is measurement. I got a scale to stand on. And it weighs that, and it weighs more. It tells me pounds or kilograms. It tells my weight is just so grand. Measurement is fun for me. Just come and try and then you'll see. Find the height or weight or time. My favorite thing is measurement. I got a glass thermometer. It tells me each day's temperature. Celsius or Fahrenheit. My thermometer's out of sight. Measurement is fun for me. Just come and try and then you'll see. Find the height or weight or time. My favorite thing is measurement. How high is it? Use the thermometer. How long is it? Measures inches and feet too Just like the foot that's in my shoe Measurement is fun for me Just come and try and then you'll see Find the height or weight or time My favorite thing is measurement Scales, scales are real cool My class has one we use at school Weighs in ounces or in pounds Tells me when weight goes up or down Measurement is fun for me Just come and try and then you'll see Find the height or weight or time My favorite thing is measurement Thermometer, it's cold or hot Like the one my doctor's got I measure air or measure seas Measures temperature in degrees Measurement is fun for me Just come and try and then you'll see Find the height or weight or time My favorite thing is measurement How hot is it? Use the thermometer is the continuation of the lesson measurement. To recall, we saw about SI units in our last video. SI unit stands for System International which is a French word and in English it is International System of Units. It was derived by the scientists for uniformity throughout the world. So, the SI unit for length, it is meter. For mass, it is kilogram. For time, it is seconds. And for area, it is meter square. And for volume, it is meter cube. And in today's class, we are going to see about mass and weight. So, in my first video, I asked you all a question. Do you remember? If someone asks your weight, how to measure it? From this topic, you will learn how to measure your weight. So, mass is the measure of the amount of matter in an object. Weight is the gravitational pull experienced by matter. So, mass and weight are different. So, mass is the measure of the amount of matter in an object, whereas the weight is the gravitational pull experienced by the matter. For example, hold a sheet of paper in one hand and another hand hold a book. Which hand feels the heaviness? The mass of the book 
is more than that of the single sheet of paper therefore the pull of the book is more than that of the single sheet of paper hence our hand has to give more force to hold the book than a paper force which we experience is called it as heaviness the weight is directly proportional to the mass of the earth's surface on moon where the gravitational force is less than the earth the weight will be reduced but the mass remains the same so the moon's gravitational pull is 1/6 of the earth's pull so the object weigh 6 times lighter on the moon than the earth so uh, our weight would be higher in earth than in the moon okay it is 6 times lighter on moon so the si unit of mass is kilogram it is represented by kg now a question what is your mass if you measure it in grams then it would be a huger number isn't it so it is expressed in kilogram bigger weight are measured in ton or metric tons so same way in length the smaller lengths are measured in millimeters then a uh, little more bigger in centimeters little more bigger in meters then comes my kilometer same way uh, my weight or mass is measured in milligrams then in grams then in kilograms and finally ton and metric ton we are going to see two instruments a device that is used to measure the mass so the first one is beam balance another one is electronic balance so beam balance is used to measure mass a beam balance works by comparing the mass of an object with a known mass so um number kadaikalla pomoda vegetables alla weigh pandradhukku rendu tattu mari vechi oru tattila weighing stones irukum kall irukum adile vandu particular weight 5 kg 1 kg அப்படி சொல்லி அந்த ஸ்டோன்ஸில் வெயிட் இருக்கும் அண்ட் இன்னொரு பக்கம் நம்ம வாங்கக்கூடிய வெஜிடபிள்ஸை வச்சு வே பண்ணி பார்ப்பாங்க ஸோ தட் இஸ் மை பீம் பேக் அண்ட் நெக்ஸ்ட் வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு சி அபவுட் தி எலக்ட்ரானிக் பேலன்ஸ் அண்ட் எலக்ட்ரானிக் பேலன்ஸ் இஸ் தி டிவைஸ் யூஸ் டு ஃபைண்ட் அக்யூரட் மெஷர்மெண்ட் ஆஃப் வெயிட் இட் இஸ் வெரி காமன்லி யூஸ்ட் இன் லெபார்ட்ரிஸ் ஃபார் வேயிங் கெமிக்கல்ஸ் டு என்ஷியோர் அ ப்ரிசைஸ் மெஷர்மெண்ட் ஆஃப் தோஸ் கெமிக்கல்ஸ் ஃபார் use in various experiments electronic balance may also be used to weigh weight other grocery items as well as jewelry so that's all for today you're going to do a beam balance using pings at home and update the picture in the group thank you so much